Today I wanna to ask you, what is something that a lot of men don't like to do as fathers? Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today I hope to get you closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta give him all the glory, all the praise for this day he has made. I am truly blessed. I hope you are blessed. Be humble and content with what you have. Man, this is something that is, the world goes on, we're seeing less and less of it. We're seeing more of the mothers, you know, step up and step out and do this for their kids because maybe the fathers aren't in the home. Maybe the father, you know, was raised around this type of man and they have some sort of conviction or belief that they were raised wrong. But I want to tell you that it is the father's role in the home to instill discipline, to instill discipline. And there's so many scriptures that tie into what I'm telling you today. And I want you to understand that once you start reading in the Bible, what it talks about, the father's role in the home, what a father should be doing. There's so much that can point back to this scripture that I'm going to give you today from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 18. Many of us men don't like to do this because, you know, maybe you feel like you're being a little bit too hard. You're being a little bit too mean, you know, being a little bit too abrasive. But if you're coming from a place of truth, which is a place of love and having the Holy Spirit in your heart, like God tells you to do, then you're not doing anything wrong as a father. And I want you to understand that this is a part of your role. So Proverb 19 verse 18 reads, discipline your son for there is hope. Do not set your heart on putting him to death. And that basically says, if you're not spending time disciplining your son, your children, then you are ultimately gonna be a part of their demise. Things that they're going to be faced with in this world come from you not instilling discipline in them. And nobody likes a undisciplined child, an undisciplined son, let alone an undisciplined man. And who else is going to teach it the right way according to the truth of scripture if you're not willing to do it as a father? Somebody has to do it. This is the dirty work that a lot of men don't like, but we must do it. This is the reason why your sons, if not put in check, will backtalk you, will backtalk their mother. X, Y, and Z have no respect for authority. And there's a lot of our young men out there, like I said, that have no respect, respect for their elders, no respect for authority. And it's because their father didn't discipline them as a son. As a father, it's not your job to be your son's best friend. You know, it is your job to guide them and lead them so they can be men of your caliber cut from the same cloth, not a different cloth, you know, men righteous and worthy of following the commandments, following what God has outlined in scripture. And many of us don't do that. Many of us refrain from, you know, shooting it like we should shoot it with our sons and just we're telling them what they want to hear contrary to giving them some knowledge, some truth that is beneficial and what they need to hear. So remember that a father's role is to instill discipline in his son and his children. If not, you are sentencing them to death. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description. Go in love, go in peace. Cause I'm only shooting at gun barrel straight. Bow.